The first simulation demo that I want to show is of the popular robotic platform LEGO Mindstorms NXT. It supports a wide range of sensors and actuators, and you can easily create your own robot with a variety of LEGO parts. Using MATLAB and Simulink, you can design and build algorithms for the NXT. Before you run the algorithms to control the actual robot, you may want to tune some parameters and see how the robot may respond in the virtual world. So now let's move over to MATLAB. Here I have a Simulink model that simulates a two-wheel self-balanced robot. It is similar to a Segway. The model has um, three main blocks. From the left, the guidance block makes decision based on the ultrasonic sensor input, mimicking the eyes of the robot to avoid collision with things. The controller block is a section where it controls the behavior and decision making of the robot. Based on the sensor data, such as speed and turn angles. The hardware block includes the plant model that simulates the interaction between the robot and the world. Inside the hardware block is our plant model. And in this, we've also included a 3D virtual world built using Simulink 3D animation to create a nice visual representation of the self-balancing robot. Let's run the simulation. And as you can see, after a short calibration, the robot started moving back and forth to maintain its balance. In this case, the algorithm, the device, and the world all exist here on my computer in simulation mode. One of the benefits of simulation is that you can easily obtain different information from it. For example, I can look at the robot from different angles. Here I'm looking at it with vista view, but I can also look at it from the top view and even from the robot's perspective. What you see here, the bouncing horizon, is what the robot actually sees. The other benefit of the simulation is that you can quickly change parameters and examine the response. For example, I created a slider block here to mimic the distance between an object to the robot. And within the guidance model, I included a chart built with state flow which is an environment used to build decision logic based on state machines and flowcharts. Clearly, here I have two states. One of them is called stay, and the other is called avoid. Right now, it is at the stay state, which means that it's, it tries to maintain its original location. The criteria for this state is that the distance of an object from the robot is over 20 centimeters. So now if I'm around 50 centimeters, if I change it to be smaller than 20, as you can see, it quickly moves to the avoid state where it backs up and turns. And you can see that instantly in the simulation world. And if I go back, to over 20 centimeters, it goes back to the stay state. As you can see, in state flow, the chart is animated with its corresponding states. 
and the syntax is very easy to understand. This whole simulation model is very interactive and fun. It, it helps students to understand the basic control logics. At the same time, the same model can be downloaded directly onto the actual NXE robot and runs on the hardware. Let's first meet our robot. It is the same as what you see in the virtual world, with two wheels and a ultrasonic sensor in the front. And it is connected to my PC through a USB cable. And now let's open the Simulink model that we used before for simulation. This is the same model that I used. And now to be able to download the algorithm onto the hardware, I need to go to Tools, Run on Target Hardware, and first let's look at the options. So I'm connected to the LEGO Mindstorm NXT hardware, and I can download the algorithm through either USB connection or Bluetooth. I will use USB in this case. And then I can go to run on target hardware and click on run again. Now the model is compiled. It is downloading to the robot through USB cable. And now that it is successfully downloaded, I can unplug it and turn the robot on. So first it's in calibration. And once I release my hand, it started self-balancing and it stays at its original location unless I give it a disturbance and most of the time it responds pretty well to it. And also remember we have the ultrasonic sensor. If an object is very close to the robot, it will back up and turn. So now it's backing up and trying to balance itself. Okay, as you saw, the same Simulink model can be used in simulation mode and can be directly deployed to hardware with just a few clicks. The workflow is very similar to industry, and the built-in Simulink support for LEGO enables us to simplify the code generation process. Students can in turn focus more on the algorithm design rather than debugging in C. At the same time, students can leverage their other Simulink blocks like scopes and the PID controller to help streamline their design process. You can leverage the many LEGO sensors to create all kinds of robots. This is another one where the robot performs line tracking tasks. Simulink also offers external mode to let the host PC communicate with target hardware. In this case, the LEGO robots talks to the PC through Bluetooth connection. One benefit of external mode is to be able to monitor the parameters. In this case, on the right, you see a state flow chart is open, and it is animating different states that the robot is in. First, it was in calibration state, and now it was in line tracking and it will move to the final state, to the center, and performs 
the sort of dance that the robot does.